What's up, everyone? My name is Owen, and welcome back to the Bad Fender Podcast. And in this one, I am going to be reviewing the Pocono race. Which, Pocono is one of my favorite tracks, because it is the most unique track on the calendar. Um, so, before the race, um, Hamilton and, or Hamlin and Kyle Busch start on the front row. And a bunch of cars had to go to the rear from their spot, which was uh, Ty Gibbs, uh, William Byron, Ross Chastain, Justin Haley, Eric Jones, and Cody Ware. And Ty Gibbs was actually subbing in for Kurt Busch, who crashed in practice and got a concussion. So I hope... Uh, he is all right, and this is also Ty Gibbs's first appearance in the NASCAR Cup Series. So now to the race. Stage one was only thirty laps, and so Denny Hamlin led off the initial start. Then Kyle Busch took the lead. Then a little while later, Austin Sindrick spins and bumps into the inside wall, bringing out the first caution. Um, Then Kyle Larson takes the lead. And then a couple laps later, Alex Almirola spins. Bring out the second caution. And Almarola got a commitment line violation penalty since he went in the pits the wrong way. He decided he didn't want to destroy his car like Sindrick did when he had to get towed back to the pit. So he, he went in behind and he was finished his pit stop before the field came around the track because Pocono is a big track. Um, after that, uh, Kyle Larson ends up winning stage one. And at this point, there's only one car lap down. On to stage two, which was, was 65 laps. Uh, Kyle Larson won the race off pit road, but Harrison Burton led because he did not pit. Then Christopher Bell takes the lead off the restart. Then Josh Balicki slams the wall, bringing out the third caution, and Balicki is out of the race. Then, um, then Denny Hamlin spins, bringing out the fourth caution. Then a couple laps later, Corey LaJoy spins, bringing out the fifth caution. Then Kyle Busch takes the lead. And then they did a round of green flag pit stops, where Martin Truex Jr., takes the lead, as well as Ryan Blaney, then Eric Jones takes the lead, and then Ty Dillon spins, bringing out the sixth caution, then Kyle Busch wins the race off pit road, and then Bubba Wallace leads off the restart, but Kyle Busch Retakes the lead after that, and Kyle Busch wins stage two. So at the end of stage two, there was one car out of the race and four cars laps down. Now to the third and final stage, which is 65 laps. Um, Kyle Busch leads, and then. 
uh, a bunch of green flag pit stops happen. So Ross Chastain takes the lead, then Denny Hamlin takes it, then Bubba Wallace takes it, then Chastain retakes it. Then uh, Ryan Blaney slams into the wall, bringing out the seventh caution, and Blaney is out of the race. Then off the initial next restart, Denny Hamlin s squeezes Chastain into the wall, who spins and collects uh, Kevin Harvick. That brings out the eighth caution of the race, and Ross Chastain is out. I think this was a little bit of payback from Denny Hamlin to Ross Chastain, since Chastain and Hamlin have a little bit of a history this year. So, I think this was payback. Um, then Denny Hamlin leads. And then Denny Hamlin ends up winning the race. So the top five was Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Tyler Reddick, and Daniel Suarez. And then... Right as I was about to go to bed last night, I heard Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch got disqualified. So it turns out um, both Busch and Hamlin had an extra piece of metal somewhere on the car. And NASCAR decided to disqualify them. So instead of being first and second, they are last and dead last. I think they finished behind the cars that did not finish the race. So which means all the stage points they picked up and the points for the win and the finish, they don't get. So the real winner of Pocono was Chase Elliott. Who didn't even lead a lap in this race. So the real top five was Chase Elliott, Tyler Reddick, Daniel Suarez, Christopher Bell, and Kyle Larson. And I wanted to also shout out one finisher, which was Ty Gibbs, who ended up finishing 16th in his first NASCAR Cup Series race, which I find to be... A good drive by him. Um, he was um, taking it slow so he could basically feel out the car. Because he had... He didn't step into the car until race day. So he didn't even get to practice with a cup car. So... Good for him for finishing 16th. Um, gonna see where his career goes. And... I am going to rate this race... Probably a 7 out of 10. It wasn't... The only good part was the restarts. Where you could go... Like... Where people were going five, six wide on the on the front stretch, going into the first corner, which I don't think at any other track in the Cup Series you can go six wide, and there comfortably be room for you. So that's one reason why I love Pocono, but also when I when I was doing the racing games. Pocono was my best track. So, that Pocono holds a nostalgic part of my heart for me dominating at Pocono. Um, so, please remember to like and subscribe, as well as go subscribe to my other channels, one being my main channel of Fan Rantan, and one being a D&D &D channel that is called Drunkards and Dumbasses. And join me next week when I do the in well I review the Indianapolis race. So 
We will see you next time. Peace.